We're gonna do something a little different today. Now lately, when you've been seeing most of my videos, it's in this set right here. But this isn't actually where I do most of my gaming. That's actually over here. This is the lounge area of our offices. This is where we don't really do a lot of editing or anything. We'll occasionally shoot up here, but the main point is it's a place for people to decompress or in my case, play games in between videos. So let's take a look around. take a look at the wall of peripherals. Now the main point of this section is the top shelf where I keep all the different controllers for different systems that I use, including some DualShock 4s for the PS4 and silver and gold. We've got a number of different Joy-Cons here on an actual Switch itself. Also on these grips, I never really use them when I actually play games, but I like having them as a way to display other Joy-Con colors. Also a couple of Amiibos rounding it out, my favorite Link one and Cloud, which I actually just picked up today. These just launched. And further back, there are all the different Xbox One S controllers we have right now. I just did a video on these, plus a couple of designs that we got before from getting different special edition systems. Now to kind of fill in a lot of space here just for display, there are a number of different collectibles that I have. Some are ones that I've bought straight up on their own, like other Amiibos or the Pixel Pals, but there's also some that belong to collector's editions for some more recent bigger games. For instance, I've got Aloy over here from Horizon Zero Dawn, and further down, the Mask from Dishonored 2 to fill that space down there. Now, all of this isn't necessarily just for show. We have a couple other things we've picked up over time. For instance, I've done a couple of videos ranking all the different colors of different uh, special edition systems. So for instance, here's all the other Xbox Ones. The white one's missing right now because it's actually hooked up to the TV. And PS4 Slims as well, which I just ranked more recently. On top of all that, we have a few other peripherals aside from controllers. Some are a little more for display, such as the laser scope here, kind of just a lesson in history of things not to do when you're developing another kind of controller. And this game will be coming out in April. I retire this in glory. But we also have further down the PSVR, which we do hook up every now and then to the PS4 Pro for playing some games. It's just, it's a big mess of cables if you leave it hooked up all the time. So we store it over here in the corner when we're not using it. Now let's take a look at the back wall. Now this next area might look familiar to some of you because we've actually done a lot of shooting up here, right here on this couch. So behind me, I usually try to showcase some more of my collectibles. Right now I've got the Mega Man Nendo and my Titanfall Pop. There's also a very small collection of games. This isn't my full shelf, obviously. It's just a couple games I bring in that are either recent hits or stuff in my backlog that I'm trying to get into. Now there's also a couple Call of Duty games, thanks to Ralphie, which speaking of which, the really big centerpieces on this back wall are these huge Lego sets that Ralphie has recently built on his new channel, Build, Play, Repeat. And to kind of round those out are a trio of really awesome posters that I'm so glad I finally made their way into a video. I've had them for a while, but we just haven't found the place to fit them yet. So really cool that you guys get to see these finally. Before talking about the TV though, let's take a look at the setup beneath it showing off all of our systems. Now this is a shelf we got at Ikea. The top row is all of our recent systems. We've got the PS4 Pro on one side, Xbox One S on the other, although later this year that's gonna get replaced when the One X comes out. And kind of breaking the combo in the middle is the Wii U. Obviously the Switch is newer, but having it in a closed space like that doesn't really play nice with the dock. So we keep that up above and the Wii U still gets some use now and then. So there it's right there. On the bottom row are some older systems. Some of them are a little more for display. We were giving Sega a little bit of love. With the Dreamcast on one side, Genesis on the other. And in the middle is the Analog NT. That's actually a more recent system that it lets you do old school NES gaming, but in 1080p on nicer TVs. And to really make these systems pop out, we actually have these two strips set up on the back of the shelf, which gives a nice separation between the systems and the back wall. Right now we're rocking this purple color, which I think is the perfect accent in this room. And then of course is the TV. This is an LG OLED TV. I don't remember the exact product number off the top of my head. We'll put that link down below. But the point is, it's a really pretty TV. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's not necessarily the best choice if you're doing like hardcore competitive stuff. The latency on it is a bit serious, but when it comes to playing just single player games, things are focused more on visuals and a kind of cinematic feel. It is an incredible choice. So that wraps up our little tour of the gaming room here at the office. If there's anything you guys saw in the video that I didn't really talk about, ask me down below in the comments. I'm also gonna link some of the cooler stuff down below as well, and we'll see you guys later.